Hello everyone and welcome to my daily report market videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Monday 15th of July. There's a, a fairly quiet start to today's session, nothing too significant in terms of market direction. In fact, what we have seen is a little bit of consolidation uh, across the Forex majors, although there is a, a hint of um, positive risk appetite. And you can see that through the Aussie dollar gaining ground and also the outperformance in the Kiwi. Now what we have seen overnight is the Chinese data uh, about um, Q2 GDP, the uh, GDP number actually coming in at, in line at 6.2%, but the uh, industrial output and retail sales for June were both much better than expected uh, for China, and that certainly has helped to boost that element of risk appetite today. Um, now, what we have seen is a little bit of a um, uncertain moves actually on uh, on Treasury yields. In, initially, they opened higher, but uh, just slipped back a little bit on both the ten-year and the two-year, and that uh, that has just dragged a little bit on the U.S. dollar, with the uh, euro actually gaining a little bit of ground again, um, yeah. and uh, the yen very mildly gaining on the dollar. So the dollar not performing all that well. A little bit of a mixed move, considering sterling is uh, underperforming. But uh, generally speaking the dollar not all that great. Now, what we saw on Friday was um, Wall Street again moving into all-time high territory. The S&P 500 closing decisively above 3,000 uh, for the first time. And also we saw the Dow uh, posting all-time highs as well. Now, that hasn't necessarily um, been reflected through the European um, markets, although the DAX is now beginning to take a little bit of uh, strength. But uh, the US futures are about a tenth of a percent higher. Um, so, looking at a positive session, but uh, is it going to be able to continue in due course would be the question um, that I'm sure that uh, Wall Street traders will be asking. Now, in terms of risk appetite, I think our chart of the day, the Australian dollar. Actually, um, just before I get on to that, um, Empire State Manufacturing for the States at uh, 1.30 is expected to improve to 0 0.5 uh, positive. Now, my chart today is Aussie Yen. Now, Aussie Yen is a, an in, interesting chart because it has um, certainly got links to risk appetite, um, Aussie versus the Yen. Uh, but you can see here there is a potential for a head and shoulders reversal. You can see that above 73.93 and then the resistance of that neckline comes in at uh, 76.40 area. So how the market responds um, in the next few days will be interesting because what we have seen this morning, if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see this tick higher on an intraday basis above the resistance of the last couple of weeks to a, a two-week high. Now that uh, move above 75.95 certainly has uh, improved the outlook but just ticked back a little bit today. But you look at the momentum indicators, RSI, um, still above 50 which I think is interesting. MACD lines are beginning to edge above neutral and stochastics are still positively configured. So this is looking like a chart that is developing into something considering this uh, floor that we've seen um, around 75.10 has certainly allowed the market just to sort of build upon potential for higher lows. And uh, if the market can continue to close above um, 76 figure and then test that 76.25 to 76.40 level of resistance, I think this could be a very interesting chart that we need to watch out for because, as I said, risk appetite just ticking a slight amount higher uh, this morning and um, we can see this uh, improving performance coming through on the Australian dollar. So it is, I think, an interesting chart to watch. Obviously, we haven't yet seen the decisive break to the upside, but uh, as the market improves again, hourly momentum indicators positively configured now. The MACD lines are turning above neutral again and the RSI holding above 40. I think this is a, an improving chart and that certainly leads to the prospect that we could be testing that neckline 76.25 to 76.40 in due course. So um, lots, uh, lots to ponder there in the, um, in the Aussie Yen chart in, in which uh, if you uh, if you sort of look at the um, the uh, risk appetite angle of it, I think it could be an interesting um, an interesting chart. So here we see um, my uh, subscription for my uh, YouTube video clips. So you can sign up there, and also you can go onto our website and uh, where you can join up for our weekly trading webinars. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later.